Hey everyone, I'm Alex Shevchenko from RAMP on the Applied AI team. And I'm going to be doing a quick presentation on a site project that we've been working on, a slide editor that generates AI slides with LLMs. Um, this fits into the whole topic of context engineering in that we try to massage the context to be very specific for each call so that it's very precise and very measurable. OK, so as any of you have done slides in your day-to-day -day job, it's something that's relatively time-consuming. If it's data-centric, you're going to spend a lot of time in Excel massaging your data, trying to see which charts convey good information for a board deck. If it's uh, something where you try to convey a good narrative, also like a quarterly uh, board deck, you want to, each of your slides to flow from one to the other and not be disjointed. Um, you're going to spend a lot of time on research. You're going to spend, thanks. You're going to spend a lot of time fitting everything into your brand guidelines, be it a Figma file that you just need to copy paste colors and fonts, or if you're super lucky, you get a template of a PowerPoint uh, file that you can just copy for your presentation. But regardless, you're going to spend quite a bit of time preparing your slide presentation, hours, sometimes days, sometimes for super important presentations, weeks. And so at RAMP, we've uh, worked on a system that basically tries to automate most of that work for you. So as the first step, we do a multimodal context ingestion step where we take in a bunch of diverse pieces of data, so brand guidelines, uh, spreadsheet information, and we also do an optional step of deep research on the user's behalf to search the web and collect information for them. Then we have a step for a narrative synthesis. We do a story arc preparation, which is very high level, from which we then pass that over to the next stage that will actually start the slide generation. And then we have parallelized slide generation where we generate all of them one, um, at the same time. And lastly, a relatively unique approach where we have a tournament-based selection and finalization step to make sure that the slides are really, really good. So starting off with the first step, the multimodal context uh, gathering, we have the data files, which can be CSVs or Excel files, um, basically spreadsheet data where we get the rows and columns and try to find what piece of information is relevant to the story that the user is trying to convey. So based on the user prompt, they want to do a board uh, quarterly presentation, then this, that, this piece of information for a huge, from a huge spreadsheet makes sense. Um, we recommend charts. The user can then chat with the LLM and tell it if, if they want some other charts or if it should focus on something else. Then, as I've said, optional step for deep research where we can scour the web, basically the same way as OpenAI and ChatGPT does it, where you can just scour the web and then synthesize everything together based on what the user wants to present. And then we take the brand guidelines, and instead of just passing them over with the slide generation step, we actually simplify the, the process so that the LOM can, can grok it easier and try to synthesize just like a small stylistic guideline for the slides. So typography, colors, layouts, etc. After we've done this, we go to the second step and we try to generate a cohesive story arc from all of the, those um, raw, from, from that raw context. Um, so trying to get the user goal, their intent, what the problem definition is, any data insights and basically yeah, data-backed insights, research findings from the web, uh, brand tone and voice from, uh, from the brand guidelines, and try to assemble everything into a very, very high-level description. And it might, feel, um, it, it, it might feel like you could just throw all of that context together and then ask the LLM to start generating the slides. But in practice, it actually sometimes works as like a, a quick demo. But if you want to actually productionize something, you do need to distill the context for the LLM so that it actually understands what it's doing. And with that 
high-level story arc in place, we can actually start destructuring it into a slide-by-slide -slide outline. So we take that high-level story arc and we start with slide one and we ask it, okay, what title it should have, what data do we want to present, what types of charts would make sense and layout. And it basically generates a small slide outline for each of those slides. And if you read through it, you could almost imagine what the slide should look like. But obviously, we can't just present a piece of text. We actually need to, to render and generate those slides. And so we take that slide outline and we go on to phase four, where we have an agentic loop that runs to generate those slides. So we take that context outline for that slide and we generate some React code for it. Then we render it in a headless browser, take a screenshot of it, and then we pass it over to a critiquing LLM that then will try to find what's wrong with it. So if you've used some of the like popular LLM-based slide generators, um, often you'll have like text that's cut off or things where the contrast is wrong, um, which I'm realizing like the contrast on my slides is like a bit off, but it's from, they look good on my laptop, I swear. Um, but yeah, it basically runs in a loop with the critiquing LOM, and then when it's satisfied, when it says, okay, no, no text is being cut off, all the colors look good, and everything is fine, then that slide is done. And so if the user wanted a presentation with five or 10 slides or whatever, it could be a relatively good output already where we finished, we have like these five slides, we just give them to the user back and they, could be, they would be relatively happy, but they wouldn't be like exceptionally good. So we add in an extra thing to this where instead of just generating one slide for one slide for, for each one of the slides that they want, we actually generate a bunch of variants at the same time with different temperatures. So for a presentation with five slides, instead we generate 10 to 20 variants for each, so 50 to 100 slides for each. And then basically what the, the rationale behind this is when you ask an LLM to generate something, it's gonna fall somewhere on a distribution of the basically like a state space of solutions that are possible for that slide, right? And some of them are gonna be very, very low quality, very bad slides. Some of them are gonna be out of distribution good, and most of them are gonna be average. But the task of actually generating the slide is a lot harder than figuring out which slide is good. So by doing like this token saturation approach and really covering the whole distribution of possible solutions, we kind of get some slides all over the place in that distribution. And then we just do an LLM judge evaluation process where we just compare and ask an LLM which one of these two slides is better. And then we percolate it to figure out which one of the 20 variants is the best one. We very often end up picking out the one that's actually out of distribution good. And then after percolating them together, the five to 10 slides, we present them back to the user and the user can then present those slides to you guys. So th this, uh, this whole presentation was actually just me talking with, uh, with uh, Super Whisper, taking everything into text, just throwing into the prompt, and then taking the brand guidelines from Ramp and generating the entire presentation. And that's it. Thank you.